Hello, I'm Father Jim Kubicki. I'm the president of St. Francis Mission on the Rosebud Reservation in Western South Dakota. And this year we've been able to accomplish many beautiful things. I've been here since July 29th and I've been able to see the hardworking staff in action. And I'd like you to meet them now and to hear some of the stories that they have to tell about the wonderful work they've been able to accomplish because of your prayerful and financial support for St. Francis Mission. There are good things happening. You know, the church, one of the surprises when I came out here was to find that the church really isn't in very good shape. And there's a lot of reasons for that. Um, it's a very poor community. It's got a history of, the culture here has a history of being oppressed by government and church institutions for a long period of time. Um, and some people hold those historical hurts close and those have to be respected at all times and in general there's not a habit of participation at least at this point I think there was maybe 50 years ago but there's not a habit of participation in the life of, of a church not just the Catholic Church but any church uh, for many families it's a it's a significant um, brokenness if you like out here and that's unfortunate because I think there are a lot of families especially young people our teenagers who don't receive that gift of being part of a community of faith and it's easier for them to despair there's a high suicide rate out here and a lot of you know children who feel like they've just run into a dead end uh, so the church itself the parishes it's there's been some building up a little bit here and there, but it's hard to get people to come and participate regularly in the life of, of the church. Now, hope, the, the good thing is we've been having more and more families come to have their children baptized, and typically, at the like we have currently at St. Bridget Church, there are nine children to be baptized in the month. It's a four-week program, and like 12 here at St. Charles. And often after a baptismal class, there's a family or two that we begin to see more regularly involved in the church. And so there's been a gradual building up. And it does have to be with families. I mean, you will get individuals who, you know, have a, an experience that's good and they'll begin coming as an adult or a young uh, adult to church more frequently. But if you're going to build up the church, it has to be by, by dealing with whole families. That's the only way it's going to happen. Sure. So we're working hard at that. Well, there are, there are the traditional kind of service organizations like the women's group at St. Bridget, which is very active. Um, there's a, more, an, a youth group that Jenny and Ben Black Bear run, which is becoming more and more participated in by young people. And I think that's a very important group as well that's, that's coming along. Occasionally we offer retreats and things like that that people participate in. There's no specific new initiative. When I come to a place, I typically don't make a lot of changes right away, and the parishes are more delicate than the school. The school needed attention and decisions to be made immediately. The parishes, I've kind of taken my time, spent the first year just kind of saying, what's going on, who's involved, who has a desire to be involved and maybe is feeling not engaged as much as they might be. And now that I'm beginning to see that a little more, I'll be working with my, the parish councils and the, the other people who are leaders in the parish to try to see how we can begin to build up more initiative. Well, this summer we, you know, we gave a great send-off to Father Hatcher. We had a, a lot of people participated in that, even though it was on a Monday. Um, took off from work, so people do rally. Uh, sometimes for events like that. <clears throat> the previous summer we'd had the Holy Door here at St. Charles Church and that received a lot of participation from both parishioners and people from off the res. For 2017, I believe um, <clears throat> just moving things forward as far as uh, you know, um, uh, sacramental prep and also uh, incorporating birthday dinners uh, for the parishes. Uh, these are things that, again, too, are just 
uh, brainstorming or maybe even thinking of ideas to do to help uh, bring more parishioners into the parishes here. So uh, a lot of the highlights, I guess you can say, are more of the things that we do with the um, the community, you know, the, the parishioners that come in to help out. So um, that would be, and I can't really specifically focus on one throughout the year of, of in 2017. So, uh, but yeah, that's kind of what we're doing. Continue always moving forward, and it seems like it goes by so fast. But um, we are trying to incorporate more things with uh, the parishes. Um, you know, meeting some of the benefactors uh, this past. Uh, month here uh, gave us some ideas about doing a even not only the birthday celebrations but also uh, anniversaries you know wedding anniversaries or even you know and I just was thinking more into it by thinking maybe baptismal you know um, uh, celebrations for that also I mean getting a group of uh, that baptized their child like last year sometime and just get them all together and have a dinner you know um, so these are things that we're looking forward to throughout the the, um, the years and um, yeah, 2017, I guess the highlights are just just that, just making sure everybody comes to Mass and seeing everybody, the smile on their faces and the joy of uh, uh, celebrating Mass on Sunday. So um, some of the outlines, I guess. <laughs> Me and my wife were able to go to be a part of a, one of the ones was the big one was the convocation. Uh, we are how we got involved in that was the, the bishop uh, picked I believe it was eleven to fifteen people in the the ICS area here uh, to participate in the convocation. So for us, we were kind of surprised that we were picked. Now I believe uh, we were picked only not only but because we were part of the uh, the parishes, but also doing things in our community, and we have kind of uh, hands on and also personal knowledge of things that are needed on our reservation in the communities and with families. Uh, but we also have that connection with the diocese, um, you know, being part of the Sioux Spiritual Center, you know, being able to connect up there with uh, a lot of people there within the diocese, and then also having that uh, close connection with the uh, bishop, Bishop Robert Gruse. So again, he invited us to the convocation. That was a great experience for us. Uh, we got to meet a lot of people down there. Um, we were able to see Archbishop uh, Charles Chapu, which was really, really inspirational for us because we did see him when he was the bishop here for Rapid City. So it was really a good, good um, time down there <laughs> at the convocation. And then as we, when we came back, we were able to attend also, and we were also part of the St. Um, Kateri conference which was held here in Rapid City, South Dakota, and we were also asked to be the uh, youth, um, I guess you'd say youth uh, advisor um, yes. presenters <laughs> for the for youth ages uh, 13 to 17, I believe it was. So uh, it was really an honor to be able, you know, be able to be a part of that. And then again, too, we got to see a lot of people who were at the convocation about two weeks before that. So they all came to the St. Kateri conference here in Rapid City. So it was really a great uh, Thing again too to be part of that and how we got involved in that was we also were we are with our youth group we also are connecting to the uh, pine ridge youth group over there so they were able to get us involved in that and again to the um, diocese also recommended us uh, for those types of things too so uh, it's really good to be a part of the diocese up there in rapid city so we get uh, to be involved in a lot of things uh, as far as uh, conferences or you know anything that uh, they um, would like to be a part of to to uh, help us um, in our uh, work that we do here on the reservation in the community. So uh, it's a really great experience to know that uh, we are able to help out not only in our community, but also be recognized in the diocese of Rap City and around the surrounding areas of what we can do. So uh, it's a good, it's a good thing to be a part of that.